guy who's kind of, uh, his life's kind of uh, really gone the wrong way. He doesn't have much, you know, and, uh, in his feeble way, he's trying to scratch his way back to some kind of, uh, some semblance of, a, of normalcy, you know, and it's not easy. It's fun sometimes to play a, a, a sort of ambiguous character, you know. Um, it's, it's definitely more interesting than playing somebody who's, you know, cut and dried, you know, black or white. I've done movies before where they wanted me to play the, the lead character, where I requested to play the second lead, <laughs> you know. They're usually a lot more, more interesting. I'll put it this way, Doc Holliday's more interesting than, uh, than White Earp. I remember reading it and thinking it was incredible because it was the first thing that I'd ever read that actually dealt with, you know, someone going out and doing a kill and then having to come home and live with themselves. And I think that um, that in itself is fascinating. And throughout the whole process they of sort of training up, they got me with some people from the CIA and some ex-police and ex-SWAT. And, uh, and I sort of became fascinated in what it would be like to actually have to deal with having something like that on your conscience of, you know, going out and having to shoot someone. And um, so I think it's, 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 I mean, it's a fascinating, fascinating story, a fascinating like, the, the depiction of, of this man. <laughs> it was pretty daunting, because I remember when I, I, I flew to LA to test with Dwayne, and then there was talk of keeping me in LA to start training and I had no idea what this training involved and I thought it was just going to be some, some kind of yoga and um, it was very, very, very intense. I mean, very, I mean, the first week, I sort of looked back on it and the first week was, uh, yeah, the first week was tough. It was very, very tough but then you sort of get used to it. I mean, they had me doing uh, two hours of yoga every day, every morning and then gun training at lunch and then fitness and weight training every other day, and then uh, combat training as well. And then we fit in car training and, yeah. So it was a good, it was, it was a good six weeks of, of real, real training. And meanwhile, I was going in to have to get fitted for all of the clothes that I was wearing. And I just kept on changing every week. And they, had to, they had to sort of call up and say, okay, don't make that. We have to make it in a bigger size or we have to bring this in or we have to... And it was, it was fascinating to kind of see that that change really but they you guys over here you're you know how to train see we don't know in london we don't know about gyms <laughs> it's been so much fun i mean every step of the way or shooting in the desert the other day i got to learn how to drive a stick for the first time on a, on a lotus it's not everyone that gets to learn how to drive a stick on a hundred fifty thousand dollar car um it's and uh, also a lot of the uh Gun training's been wonderful. I'm, I'd love to use more of it. It was really nice we had a day where George and Oliver and I could come out to the space and spend a little bit of time and kind of see how things were laid out and uh, talk a bit about the scenes that took place here. And It was really lovely to have that time. And George is, is really lovely himself and very easy to talk to. And crew, everybody loves him. So, it, you know, it's nice that kind of always trickles down and everybody's having a good time. I've ended up playing, uh, you know, quite a few characters that could be sisters of Detective Cicero, but I haven't quite played her yet. And uh, I guess what I really loved about this when I read it was that it was uh, a really cool throwback to a great 70s revenge thriller. <clears throat> and I'm a huge lover of movies. And, and so for me, it was like hearkening back to like Point Blank with Lee Marvin and just had this great kind of like a raw, visceral quality to it. And uh, I had worked with Dwayne Johnson before, who I adore and who I think is one of the most... Um, He's a wonderful actor anyway, but he's also one of the most physically um, adept and, and kind of connected actors in that way. So when I was reading this role for him, I, I thought this is just like he will bring something so amazing to this. And I have always loved Billy Bob Thornton's work. And so since a lot of the stuff that my character has is with Billy, I was really excited um, to be able to collaborate with him because it's funny, we have so many, uh, our paths have almost crossed on numerous occasions work-wise. And uh, this was the first opportunity for, that, that's worked out for us to be able to do it. This movie is super entertaining and, and will be, you know, a true... That was the other thing when I read it is I thought, 
this is what I mean by a popcorn movie. Like, I don't mean a dumb movie. I don't mean a movie that you don't have to think at all. I mean a movie that you get, you know, you get into your seat, you sort of are buckled in for the ride, and you're trying to figure out what's going on the whole time, and the movie's one step ahead of you. And I feel like this movie really is that. So, but while dealing with that, it's also dealing with, as you said, the gray areas of all these people. You know, we have a, a killer who is, um, who is trying to sort of come to terms with himself and, and who he is, and he's going to therapy. And, you know, it's, it's all of these kind of... Um, you know, the flip sides, we get to see the other side of the coin, which is cool. A gift in working with Billy is that immediately we were like birds of a feather in terms of there was no ego and it was all about sort of trying, to, it's been really about trying to find the human moments in the midst of um, really a lot of information being given about the case. So that's been a, he's been a great partner in that. What I've always loved about when I read the script was the philosophical part of it, that this movie is a lot about revenge and forgiveness and and there's something that Marina does and she realizes in later in life that she can't run away from certain things you you pay for it in this life and that heaven and hell that's you know there's a line like all that stuff they taught you when you were, you were little in church you make your own heaven you make your own hell that's very poignant to me I met Dwayne at the table read and we sat next to each other and I've seen him a few times um, and I'm, I'm bummed we don't have any scenes together. I just, I just, what a sweetheart, uh, just such sincerity, and I'm a big fan. Um, I think even though this movie seems like an action film, and it is, it has, um, like I said earlier, a lot of philosophical themes, and he says very little, and it's a really dark character that has a lot of um, intensity, and it's not so much about his action as it is about what's beneath the eyes. I mean, George even said that it's all about the eyes with, with uh, Driver.